We are Creole pimping at American Legion Mohawk Post 308 in Tulsa tonight. Mr. Nasty is in the building. Baton Rouge's finest is in the house tonight, but he is taking on a man he is very familiar with. Let's hear from the pimp. heard Mr. Nasty Walker, it, a, a pimp's stuff has been stolen. How do you steal a pimp's gear? Now, apparently Tommy Dean has found a way and oh my God, what is this? Did, did that just say Mas Mr. Nasty Dean? Well, obviously Tommy Dean's had some plans for quite some time, he even managed to inform a production crew of his new moniker, Mr. Nast Dean, is in the building. Mr. Nast Dean, Tommy Dean, obviously wearing Mr. Nasty's stolen garb. This is a disgrace, Walker. Now, now let's not beat around the bush here, James. Mr. Nast Dean, it's gonna be a hard one to continue saying throughout the night. Mr. Nast Dean, is, is stolen from one of the greatest entrepreneurial minds and philanthropic individuals in the state of Oklahoma in Mr. Nasty. How do you steal from a man who has given so much to the world? That is a question for you to ask this Tommy Dean, Mr. Nass Dean, whatever you want to call him. I call it disrespect for a pimp is what I call it and it will not be taken, I can assure you of that. Mr. Nasty is absolutely livid in the corner. He is fuming over this. I see, I see a scarf, I see a glove, I see a chain. Just how much has Tommy Dean stolen from this man? Well, James, I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not sure which Mr. Nasty you're talking about. You said that he was looking disgusted in the corner and they're, they're both looking pretty unhappy with the other one right now. I refuse to refer to him as Mr. Nasty Dean. Tommy Dean is making a fool of a pimp's profession right now and that cannot stand. There are many hardworking pimps out there in America that would take serious offense to the mockery that is being played by Tommy Dean. I know the American Legion Mohawk uh, has been a massive enjoyer of the services for one Mr. Nasty. I don't really know what, uh, what Mr. Nasty Dean really provides. Is it the same service? Is it, you know, and a little known fact about Mr. Nasty, he is a member of a union, believe it or not, the ALP, the American Legion of Pimps. Uh, he has been a representative as well as a board member of the ALP. Uh, very philanthropic, very involved in his profession is one Mr. Nasty. And Tommy Dean is making a mockery of Mr. Nasty's line of work. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you, James. I'm starting to struggle to tell the two of these men apart. I think that, I think we're gonna have to, I, I don't know what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to find some way to, to, to showcase who is who in this matchup. And Tommy Dean just said he's gonna be leaving the scarf on. Hearing it there on the head, uh, 
I guess you can, uh, since you're dealing with this batch of confusion, uh, Tommy Dean, Mr. Nast Dean, in the uh, scarf, and the, the real Mr. Nasty unscarfed, I guess. I guess it's, it's better than a wave cap, but it's, it will definitely get the job done, James. Not sure about that. Tommy Dean might need to be rocking some waves in the near future if Mr. Nasty does not slap those waves into the hair tonight at the American Legion Post 308. Mr. Nasty immediately here with the waist lock on Tommy Dean. Taking him on a soul ride, delivering those hips back. Dean off the ropes, delivering that scarf and kneeing it off the head of Mr. Nasty. That was the force that shot came in with. You know, Tommy Dean's starting to look a lot more like one of Mr. Nasty's employees than an, than an employer. Ropes, full speed, Tommy Dean up and over, rebounding behind him, and Mr. Nasty sent flying. Yeah, I, I gotta tell you, James, that's straight out of the Mr. Nasty playbook. Obviously, Mr. Nasty Dean, Tommy Dean, has been putting the work in and scouting his opponent tonight. Tommy Dean obviously paying attention, and that could come into play spades for him tonight. He's got to stay on top of Mr. Nasty, though. And it looks like that's exactly what he's looking to do with a big right hand from downtown Tulsa all the way here to the American Legion. Now, I haven't seen Pimp Semption like this since Oklahoma City. So we're, there's a lot going on right now, James. Oh my God, another backhand for Tommy Dean. This is not South Sheridan. You will not believe your eyes. We have two pimps here in Tulsa. Going back and forth, Mr. Nas Dean laying the heavy hands down. Tommy Dean full in control of this. Mr. Nasty has got to find a way to recover. But oh my lord, a pimp is on a roll. Now I've never seen Mr. Nasty hit a side suplex like that. It was an incredible snap to that. Tommy Dean, a very uh, Influenced by the, the Japanese style of professional wrestling. Justice almost getting in the way there while he was checking on Mr. Nasty. Tommy Dean says, I've got this. Mr. Nasty says, I've got your beard. I happen to know that Martin Justice is a, a purveyor of the services for one Mr. Nasty. And I'm sure that he would definitely have great interest in this matchup. I have to question the bias of this official. Sending Tommy Dean back in to the ring with that slap. The pimp slaps are strong with this one. Taking Tommy Dean to the mat. When you've been in the pimp industry the, as long as Mr. Nasty has been throughout his career, your strikes are definitely going to be a little harder than your average Joe James, but you wouldn't know anything about that. The average pimp does indeed smack harder than the average Joe. Mr. Nasty has been confirming that to us for a number of years now. Also strikes harder than the average Dean. Apparently so. Tommy Dean now on the receiving end of this headlock, trying to choke the air out of Tommy Dean. Mr. Nasty, you hear a chant of Tommy time. Apparently this crowd is uh, finding great humor in the actions of one Tommy Dean. Mr. Nasty having none of it though. Tommy Dean trying to find his way to a vertical base. Delivering a successful shot, now a couple of them. Trying to get a series flowing here. Nasty coming back in. We saw it earlier, but not with that variation. Into the neck breaker. Only gets a two count for Nasty, though. This has been a bona fide turf war since the beginning. You do not come on to Mr. Nasty's block. You do not take Mr. Nasty's clothes and try and take over his domain, especially here in Tulsa. 
A pimp's area is very strictly defined, and Tommy Dean has walked into the yard and started walking all over the grass of Mr. Nasty, and that is not the place you want to be on the receiving end of a pissed off pimp. Raining down punches now is Mr. Nasty. Tommy Dean having to grab the hair of Mr. Nasty to put him in a precarious position. The Nasty's stuck here, oh my! A pimp slap across a full moon in Tulsa. Tommy Dean trying to perhaps go for that brain buster. Pimp down! Big backhand by Mr. Nasty takes down Tommy Dean. Promising to display Tommy Dean to all in the American Legion Mohawk Post 308 here in Tulsa. Tommy Dean returning the favor, pimp hands strong, Jamie, says Tommy Dean. There is a power in that glove that transfers between whom swears it, and it is being used on the purveyor of Mr. Nasty. He's feeling all of it right now. He who giveth also receiveth. Mr. Nasty on the receiving end now. I've heard all about that one. Trying to reverse out of it, that big side suplex out of the corner. Tommy Dean has got to be feeling that in his neck, trying to regain his composure. Wait a minute. Could it be time for a booty call? Tommy Dean says no. It's too early. Don't call me until after midnight. Two kick out there for Mr. Nasty. Spinning heel kick from Nasty into the cover. Only a two count. Nasty had that foot exactly where he wanted it, but Tommy Dean just isn't quite down and out yet. Tommy Dean slowly moving, trying to find his opponent. And Mr. Nasty trying to find something in the corner. Digging through the clothes of Tommy Dean. I believe he just called Tommy Dean a crackhead. Don't know if we can say that one on air, but nevertheless. A bit of creative liberty here by Mr. Nasty retrieving the glove. I told you there's a transferable power inside that glove. And a, and a fully powered Mr. Nasty is not a man I want to be inside the ring with. I think it's all thrusters go at this point. Tommy Dean fighting for his life with a series of strikes. Shots to the head, rocking Mr. Nasty. A kick to the knee brings him down. Big DET. Tommy Dean's feeling it. This might be his moment, Walker. Riding the wave of momentum is Tommy Dean. But how nasty, how down and dirty can he get over the top rope? Riding the momentum and riding the lightning right over the top and to the outside. Tommy Dean has Mr. Nasty down. This crowd's rallying behind him. Can he stay in control? Nasty back in the ropes. Tommy Dean right in after him. Heard it, Mr. Tommy Times coming up. Going for that double underhook. Mr. Nasty having none of it. Tommy Dean, big spinning clothesline there, center of the ring. But Mr. Nasty already back up to his hands and knees. Wait a minute, uh, Tommy Dean has a phone as well. He's placing a late night call. The booty call. 
it's successful. It is ringing, it is going through, and the head of Mr. Nasty is ringing. We have a pimp in distress in Tulsa. Going for that big shot with the chain. Dude, now what is, oh my God. Cross jacket pile driver. Now Martin Justice sees that chain. Tommy Dean's got it in his hand. Trying to argue, the official thinks he knocked out Mr. Nasty with that chain. Mr. Nasty though, taking advantage of the opportunity with a low blow. Rotates Tommy through. Pimp down, one, two, three. Your winner, Mr. Nasty. Well, James, I gotta tell you, a low blow like that, that's one way to put a competitor out of business. What a victory here tonight for Mr. Nasty. Business might be a little slow for Tommy Dean, but things are going well for Mr. Nasty, reclaiming his property and reclaiming his crown as King Pimp. Wait a minute, what is Tommy Dean? Tommy Dean is just taking a shot at Mr. Nasty. And a shot from the cane. Breaking that cane in half across the head of Mr. Nasty. Tommy Dean might not have walked out with the win, but he's walking out with pride on his side. And the end of the pimp's cane came down. Came down.